Okay, at this point we want to uh, make a base for either side. And we're going to do this simply by creating a new box. So we'll go into the Create modifier, or Create tab, and go to Box. And in the top viewport, we'll draw out a box. We'll give it values of a length of 300, a width of 300, and a height of 120. I want to position the box so it's roughly around the area that we've created for the base. Go under Modifier tab, and we'll name this Base01. We want to give this uh, base two width segments. So under Parameters, we'll hit 2. And we also want to give it two length segments. We'll give it two there. Now we're going to want to rotate the box. So we'll rotate it that way. And then we'll convert this to an editable mesh. So we'll right click on the box, convert to editable mesh. We want to go into vertex selection mode. And we're going to want to select the first three vertexes that make up the uh, top front of the box. And we'll move those down on the Z axis. just so they meet up with the vertexes in the front. Okay, now we want to select all six vertexes at the front, so we'll just click and drag, and then in your selection uh, tab under the modifier mesh stack, you'll see that we have six verticals selected. We want to weld those selected verticals, so we'll go under Edit Geometry, under the uh, Weld section. We'll change the threshold to 1, and click Weld Selected. And now our first six uh, vertexes have been turned into three vertexes, and they've been welded together. Okay, now we want to select all of the faces that make up this box. So we'll go into face selection mode, click and drag over the entire box. In this case, we want this to have a material ID of 1, so we'll strike 1. And we want to clear all smoothing groups. And now we'll go to our material editor, select a second material, and we'll do this the same way. We'll name it a multi-sub object discard the old material, and we'll actually just set the number to 1 on this. We'll name that base texture. In ma the first material, we're actually going to get a uh, bitmap. So under Diffuse, we'll go to Bitmap. Then you're going to navigate to your Halo CE root directory, go to data, levels, test, tutorial, mod bitmaps, and example tutorial metal is the one that we'll be opening. Go up to parent and rename the material example tutorial metal. We want to show map and viewport, go back to parent, and we want to assign this material to the uh, current object selected, which is our base. And then we want to add a UVW map. And we want this, rather than planar, we want it as a box. And now our base has been created. The only thing left is to actually attach it to the uh, surface, which we'll take care of in the next step here. So we'll want to save it at this point, and we'll continue on to the next step.